Well, as I look at uh, you know, my time now here as the Sergeant Major of the Army, it's really about being part of a bigger team. Does everybody see what I'm saying? Well, there are a lot of people who have contributed to who I am today and the contributions that I've been a part of. How many, uh, how many aircraft you got? I think uh, as I look back at the last seven years, uh, probably one of the, the moments that I'm most proud of that, that sticks out in my mind was 2009 being year of the non-commissioned officer. And the recognition by Congress, by our Army leaders, uh, as well as the American public of the, the values and the contributions of our non-commissioned officer corps, to me that was a um, you know, very prideful moment for, for all of our NCOs. I'm here in uh, Iraq right now with, uh, with the 10th Mountain Division and I just want to say thanks to uh, all the families back home at Fort Polk, Louisiana. So you either pass the board or you fail the board. Yeah, the numbers that we want to recruit. The great venue the Sergeant Major of the Army is able to provide, being able to go out and travel, the see ball, the Army through a soldier's eyes at the lowest level. And then to bring that back here, it really helps uh, form a vision and an understanding of what the decisions and the policies that are made back here, the impacts that they have on soldiers. And what do you do here in the headquarters? I work actually as my successor comes on board. He'll pick up on you know where we've been, where we are, and then that gradual evolution of change will just uh, continue to move forward. Now, I've talked to a lot of people about uh, retirement, so I have no doubt that it'll be uh, the people that I'll miss the most. Very proud to have been a soldier and you know, very proud to uh, you know, have been part of this great legacy. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television.